Okay, everybody, I'm back to add some more to my Afrofuturistic landscape. Um, so here I go, I'm gonna go to insert image, and I'm gonna search the web. And I had just been looking for transparent bug. I didn't really find anything I liked. I'm gonna do transparent planet. I found a really funky one that's super cool. Um, so I'm gonna, I really like this one. It kind of looks like a marble. And I wanna add that to my sky. So I'm gonna go up here and click that blue box in the corner and then resize it to make it a little bit smaller by dragging it in. I'm gonna go up here and place it in my sky. Um, but it looks really bright and um, I kinda wanna make it look not quite so bright so it looks like a little farther away, just like how I made these a little bit darker so they look farther away. So I'm gonna go to format options. And it's got to be selected so it has to be blue like it has to have a blue frame around it and i want to go to adjustments and i can alter the brightness again so i can make it a little darker if i wanted to i can make it like a little brighter oh it's a little too bright maybe i'll just make it a little bit darker maybe i'll make it a little bit more transparent Oh yeah, I kind of like that. That's freaky. And then I'm gonna go down and I wanna show you the reflection thing. This is really cool. So if you click reflection, oops, hello. Click reflection, look, a little reflection popped up down there. And you can mess with like the distance, how far away it is. Um, I want mine to be really close. And you can also mess with the size. So you could have almost a whole other planet down here reflected um, and then you can also mess with the transparency so you can make it a little bit lighter a little bit more transparent so it's just like a whisper of a planet but I like that because it kind of makes it look surreal it makes it look a little like fantasy um, okay now I'm going to add something else I want to add some plants and some animals to this those there's usually plants and animals in a landscape so I want to make sure I add those things too um, so let me think. How about what's like a fantasy animal? How about a Pegasus? Transparent. And remember, I'm keeping that word transparent because I want to make sure all my artwork does not, or all my little images don't have a background. So let's see here. Ooh, I like this one, but I think I'm going to see if I can change the color of it. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I want to have my pegasus flying out in there now I can use this so if this is my pegasus is selected and I want to make I want to like flip it or have it pointing a different direction I can definitely do that there's two there's a couple ways I can do that I could take this box and roll it all the way over here and now my pegasus is facing in a different direction I can also use this box that's got the um, circle coming out of it. If you click on that circle, you can rotate your image. So now it goes up. And I don't really like how that looks kind of like a sticker. I'm going to see if I can go. So I'm going to go back to format options. I'm going to see. I'm going to make that a little less bright. I'm going to make it a little less contrast which means um, it won't stick out so much. Contrast means the difference between light and dark. So I'll do that. And I wanna recolor this. I wanna see if there's another color I can use. Oh my gosh, there's tons of colors I can use on here. Okay, ooh, I like that one. That's so cool. Okay, cool. So I have one, two, three, four, items in my landscape here i need one more but i want to have something that's like really nice and big up front so maybe i can do i want to do like transparent like um desert plant see what i can get Ooh, some cacti Ooh, i like this one so maybe I'll add that in the corner down here at the bottom. I'll definitely need to make that a little smaller. 